Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds, and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Ultra X4 modular 850 watt and 1200 watt power supplies. What's included with both of these power supplies is a user's manual, silicone vibration damper, cable ties, five black thumb screws, one extra, five regular screws, one extra, a carry pouch for the modular leads, and the power cord. The Ultra X4 modular line of power supplies are currently available in wattages ranging from 500 to 1600. I will be reviewing the 850 and the 1200 watt models. Now how is wattage determined? Well to understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. The 850 watt model's approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 170 watts and the 12 volt is 720 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 1200 watt model's approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 170 watts, and the 12 volt is 1020 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well, for the 850 watt model, the plus 3.3 volt rail is 24 amps, and the plus 5 volt rail is 30 amps. Also, there's one single plus 12 volt rail, and that's 60 amps. Now, for the 1200 watt model, the plus 3.3 volt rail is also 24 amps, and the plus 5 volt rail is as well 30 amps, but the single plus 12 volt rail is 85 amps. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system, select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, get a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of these power supplies are rated above 85% at typical and nominal loads. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. These power supplies meet all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or Active Power Factor Correction, assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, these power supplies have APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, 80 Plus, NVIDIA SLI, and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. These power supplies do meet the 80 Plus Bronze certification, but I should note that the NVIDIA SLI and the ATI Crossfire certifications are pending. Sixth, Look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This generally ensures a more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. Now these power supplies don't use Japanese capacitors, but I've been informed that this is not an issue. And I quote, they don't use Japanese capacitors. It used to be the case that capacitors from this region were the only ones that were of quality, but this has changed in the last couple of years. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup and consider a power supply that has a modular design. Also, look for a power supply that has an excellent warranty. This power supply comes with a three-year standard and lifetime warranty available upon registration. Both of these power supplies look the same. They have a black paint finish and the housing is steel. They also include a load controlled 135 millimeter fan which is very quiet. 
So, the more load on the power supply, the faster the fan spins. The 135mm fan and the honeycomb ventilation ensures maximum cooling so the power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cable connection and the power switch. These power supplies are 100% modular, meaning that every lead, even the main motherboard leads, have a modular design. A lot of power supplies are called modular, but few of them are completely modular like these products. Modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup, which reduces the cable mess and also increases airflow inside the case. Note that Every modular lead has a Velcro strap. Finally, have a listen to the 135mm fan. Like the Ultra X3 modular line of power supplies, which were very popular, I suspect that this new X4 line of modular power supplies will also be equally as popular because they come with a very quiet 135mm fan, they perform well, they're stable, they're 100% modular, and as well come with a great warranty. Overall, these power supplies are 100% kick-ass. Until next time, take care.